Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. Seeing this is the first episode uh, in 2023. I wish you the very best in the year. Let's develop the interest for mathematics. So in this episode, we want to treat, have the introduction to the topic sequence and series. No, there are so much uh, uses of sequence in our real life. Typical example is more or less like um, our football stadium. You see that normally the first uh, row, let's say if there are 10 seats in the first row, in the next row there are more seats than the first row. And it continues in that order because we are going to have arrangement as if it's on an arc. So the first line have a smaller number of seats, then it increases as we get to the top. The same way when we have uh, tables, arrangement of chairs around a table. You know, if you put the first one, the first, the first person can be able to see on the front. Then behind will be two and in that order. So series can, sequence can also be used in those areas. Now, when it comes to mathematics, we are referring to sequence as just arrangement of numbers, or in this case, objects, which are in a particular order. And in this order, there should be an observed word, rule. So we are saying it is just arrangement of any object or set of numbers that are in a particular order, which is always followed by a word, a certain kind of word, rule. So we can begin with our counting numbers so we can consider this as an example of a sequence why because it's a set of numbers which are arranged in what a particular word order right but is there any observed rule we can see that uh, the numbers are consecutive because the addition of one to the previous term give us the next term one plus one give us two two plus one three 3 plus 1, 4, in that order. This is an example of a finite word sequence, meaning we know all the elements. It could also have a infinite, where the last element is not known. So counting numbers or natural numbers are an example of a sequence. We can see that also with our word, even numbers. Each preceding term. If I see this, the next term will be addition of 2. To the previous one to get the first one or the subsequent uh, terms minus two give us the previous one so two here minus two here give us this minus two here give us this in that order all right let me see if we can also consider this can we consider this as an example of a sequence it's a series of numbers as you can see it's a arrangement of these numbers in a particular order but does it follow a certain rule if i add one to the previous term, I get the next one, right? But if I add one to this, I may not get what? Five, so I have to add two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. But let's see, will plus two also work here? No, it means I need to add plus four. So the rule that we are following will not work. So prime numbers, are not considered as what? Sequence. They are not following that particular order of arrangement. Alright. Now, let's see. If I have all these numbers, we are calling, we are seeing them as what? Uh, a set of numbers. But each of them is referred to as a term. So, this is the first term, second term, third term, and the fourth term. Similarly, first, second term in that order. Now, if you are asked to list the next two terms of this uh, sequence, if you are asked to list the next two terms, you need to be able to identify that certain rule that is being used to generate the sequence. So what do you think will be the next two terms from here? I can see this arrangement is a particular way. So for me to get this second term, I can see that if I add 2 to this, I'll be getting this. And if I add 2 to the next term, I should be getting what? 
the term before it. Or if I subtract 2 from the previous term, give me the next term. So 4 minus 2 will give me 2. 2 minus 2, 0. 0 minus 2 give you negative what? 4. I mean negative 2 minus 2 give us negative 4. Then negative 4 minus 2 will give us what? Negative 6. So in this case, if I'm asked to list the next two terms of this sequence, I could present my answer as what? Minus 4, minus 6. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. The question could also be asked, what to be the seventh term? That is what we need to know how we can generalize. Then we have to add the word progression in that order to it. But let's take it in this form. Now you can see that each of these numbers, the first term is different. So in order to generalize everything, let's use an alphabet. So let's say, if you use this, we can refer to this as the terms in what? A sequence. So this is going to be the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and preferably the last term. So we can say that this could also be used to represent sequence. Now, for us to explain what a series is, a series is just the sum of all the terms in a sequence. So if I begin to add these terms together, if I begin to add all of them, then I will be referring to the term series. All right, so series is just the sum of all the terms in a sequence. Now, let's talk about the type of sequence. We have the first one as what? Linear sequence. We call the first one as linear sequence or what? Arithmetic word progression. Then the second one is given as geometric progression or exponential sequence. Then the final one is as what? Harmonic progression or harmonious word sequence. So in each of these type, we are going to take them one after the other to explain. That will be in the next episode. Don't forget to share, like, and come back to this space for more. Bye-bye.